Hail, hello everybody, and welcome back to my quest. Episode number eight, I think, or nine. Wow, we're getting through episodes pretty quickly. But, we are down here at the start of this episode, back in this little slime truck that we found, and we have a problem. We gotta go a bit lower than this, and there's lava everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. So, we're not going to be doing this in this episode, because it's going to be really boring, but this is going to be a bit of a passive project. I'm going to be digging a giant hole, and all the way up, there's going to be a giant hole, and i got to dig down a bit. So, just letting you guys know, this will be happening in between episodes. But, today, the plan is something a bit different. We are going to be doing some villager stuff. Because, what? Yeah, villager stuff. A villager trader for sure. Maybe even some more farms to do with villagers. But we need emeralds to get mending books. And we also need, well, just emeralds. So. That's going to be happening, but while that is happening, I will, and in between episodes, this will be forming. And by the time the Slime Chunk episode will be coming, will be here, there will be a massive amount of work done. So, I'm going to be doing that passively, and I will see you guys back at the surface. We are back at the base after doing a lot of mining. I've been that's why this video is taking so long to get out. I have been doing some mining. And as you can see, my pickaxes have taken quite a hit. And I've probably gone through about 20 iron pickaxes. But, I've also got in something really good. A potato from a zombie that I killed. I also have gotten a carrot, which is out in our garden already over there. We'll be using that later. But the, the main reason for today, we need more emeralds, because we need mending on our tools, which we don't have right now, in order to dig that big hole. So, we need emeralds for that, and luckily I've been thinking about that, because we have a, a, um, a tool smith, or a weapon smith, and they like coal. They like coal. So we could trade this coal to that weaponsmith to get emeralds but that's not going to be enough probably so that we also have another vastly quantified resource and that is string in our spider farm we have a load of string and um excuse me there there is a villager who likes to trade string they are fishermen so if we can get a fisher villager, we should be able to to um we should be able to get a ton of emeralds from him as well. So that's the plan. Wait, we need slabs. So that's the plan. And then we're also, of course, we're going to do some building. We are going to, okay, what's the thing for a barrel? Okay, we need more wood. So, yes, that's the plan for today. But we're also going to make a villager breeder. What's a villager breeder? It's something that will give you an infinite amount of, re of villagers which we will need but right now let's get a villager who will decide to become a fisherman all right sirs hello you are doing having a very nice having a very nice conversation i'm sure but you see that you see that oh he sees it he wants it he wants it he wants it there we go string Look at that, string. It might seem like a lot of string for one emerald, but we have so much string, that is amazing. So, I'm actually going to go and get all that string, and then when I come back, 
we are going to do a lot of trading. So we have a lot of string right here, and look at here's the man of the deal right here. All right, that's a lot of emeralds, Mr. Fisherman. More trades, but put these emeralds away and grab some coal. There we go. Now let's run over to our weaponsmith and get even more emeralds. Here looks like a fine candidate. All right, you, you yeah, you've always wanted. Okay, that's those are horrible trades, dude. Those are horrible trades, dude. Better trades. There we go. There we go. 16 more emeralds. Soon we shall be able to buy a one book of mending. So I'm just going to keep continue doing this until we have enough emeralds to buy enough books of mending for our our pickaxes. And yeah. When that's done, I will Tell you, get the mending books and tell you guys all about the um, next project that we are going to be doing. So, all right, we got this many emeralds, and from my calculations, that should be enough to get mending on all of these pickaxes, or to get a mending book on all of these pickaxes. So. We are going to go to the library, which has been closed to the public for quite a long time. Hey, you. Wait, what? The mending trade's gone. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to get a new mending trade now. Oh well, I'll see when that happens. All right, here we have the Mending Villager. Let's give this guy some of that good stuff. Are you kidding me? Cut. We have officially got slimes in here, so the hole's different, but... Yes, we have slimes, which is good, because I was honestly scared to death, because I didn't get any slimes this whole time. And the frame rate is amazing. So, yeah, there you go. Full update complete. All right, here we are. I'll take your entire stock. Yeah, there's no way you're getting out. There's no way you're getting out. Don't mind me. Alright, so I'm going to heal all these tools up in the spider farm, and then I will tell you what the next project we're going to be doing. So, 
now we, I'm going to build some, do some building, at least. We've mended up all our tools. And now I'm going to make a villager breeder. This, so this, this should be fun. Basically what it does is it gives us an infinite amount of villagers. I'm using a design by Logical Geek Boy, which I know for a fact is the best villager breeder out there. Um, this is not my own design. It's by Logical Geek Boy. Um, I guess I'll leave a link to his channel in the description if I remember. But if not, you know where to go. It's the best villager breeder out there. So I'm going to build that. And we might do a time lapse, we might not, I don't know. But I'll get back to you and that's all done. So here we go. It's all built. The, the villager breeder. This is automatic. It will produce villagers indefinitely. Um this will be able to lead us into a few projects in the future. I have oh there's gonna be a lot of villager farms you can made. So, yep, basically, this is it. And, yeah. So, that will most likely be the end of the episode. In between episodes, I'm going to be doing more digging. When I leveled up the blacksmith, I found that he was selling some diamond pickaxes. Which happen to be very good diamond pickaxes. And you can be combined into even better diamond pickaxes. So... What's going to happen is I'm going to get more diamond pickaxes, and yeah, I'm going to dig a hole. The next episode, we're going to use that hole. So, that's what I'll be doing, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you like and, subs like and subscribe, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you later.